Hello, and welcome to the Creating Pixel Perfect Icons in Adobe Illustrator course by Tots Plus. My name is Andrei Stefan, and together we will unravel the mysteries of creating pixel perfect icons. For some time now, it has come to my attention that a lot of designers struggle when it comes to creating crisp looking icons. I believe that this is mostly due to the fact that even though you can find relevant articles on the web, there aren't many of them that apply an in depth start to finish approach to the process. As a result of this, most of the designers trying to grasp the pieces of information usually get lost along the way. Being it so, I found that I could share my own workflow that I've developed over the years so that you may widen your technical skills in regards to this particular subject. The course itself is aimed at intermediate students who already have a basic understanding of how Illustrator works, but that doesn't mean beginners shouldn't give it a go. Based on the level of difficulty from each lesson, it should be perfectly fine since things will be presented as simple as possible. Now, since icons are pixel dependent, in this short course we'll be taking a step-by-step -step practical approach in which we'll become more familiar with the pixel grid. By doing so, we will learn how and why we should take advantage of it in order to get a nice sharpness that we want from our icons. When it comes to creating the actual icons, we will rely on using some of Illustrator's basic shapes combined with the power of the structural grid. I will be using Illustrator CC 2015, but the lessons can be replicated on any other versions of the software as long as you have a smooth working machine. Based on information from within this course, you should be able to create pixel perfect icons for any future projects in no time. That being said, let's jump into lesson 1 of chapter 2 and talk about how Illustrator actually works from a pixel perspective. 